You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where it's time for our day two vlog here from Fantasialand in Germany. It is indeed. There's a lot of stuff that we didn't cover in the day one vlog that we're going to cover today. Such as Woozy Town. You've got Wing Jazz just over there. Crazy Bats, the indoor coaster on that side of the I park. I like that. And along with that <laughs> mouse of chocolates, we've got some other great rides to get on, including the one you can see there just behind us. We're going to start our day with a ride on Mystery Castle Indoor Drop Tower. And also tonight, we've got some more entertainment to see, such as a new projection mapping show for this year actually on the facade of mystery castle so we'll see what that's like yeah i'm looking forward to seeing it along with that we've got the fire show tempo de fuego which is located over in mexico all around chiapas really excited to see that it didn't go ahead last night so i'm hoping that, that that's gonna be fine I tonight for so, us. i've never seen it before yeah the first time with charlotte it's brilliant they've not run it for a few years because of the pandemic uh, but it is back as part of the winter event and with there not being fireworks at this event now as we covered in the day one vlog i really hope we see that tonight as like an end of night so. show uh, it's only on one at 7.30 tonight, so fingers crossed we're going to get to see that. Uh, but of course we'll get lots more off-ride footage, capture the atmosphere uh, here at Fantasyland in Germany. Well, looks like we're in for another quiet day here at Fantasyland. Parks open 11am through until 8pm. So yeah, we should get lots of rides in. And yeah, starting off here with Mystery Castle. But I'll tell you what, is a great ride. The theming of this, the fact they built this Intamin drop tower inside here, like, it's phenomenal, it really is. And yeah, it's not just one tower in the middle, it's a set of six towers that are all built around the walls on the edge. Fascinating ride, this is Charlotte. It's really impressive when you're in there and you're like at the top. It's really cool. Yeah, I wish we could film on ride. Like I said yesterday, uh, on ride filming is very limited here now. It never used to be. But yeah, we're going to have a nice ride on Mystery Castle. Putting some shots of the queue line for you. go then so we just started off our day with a ride on mystery castle there the one drop unfortunately yeah it's a shorter cycle normally at the first part of the day then it gets longer later on we'll have to do it again later on it is a very impressive it ride really though is. when everyone's up there it really is yeah because yeah. the towers kind of all go at different sequences yeah, and you're facing yeah, each other dropping at different times yeah so. it's amazing like with the audio as well it's a full package and obviously from a distance it looks like a real castle and you can see that in our travel vlog we saw it from a distance you have a nice little dance there charlotte yeah. <laughs> right, let's go and get on some more rides got some big ball walls just down here as well down by mystery castle Round the corner into Chinatown then now. And yeah, we had a lovely stay at Hotel Lingbao last night. So check out the vlog if you haven't already seen it. Now, as much as Chapas de Wazaban is open here during winter room, the other water ride, River Quest, is closed at Christmas. Oh, this is what I like to see. <laughs> entry. <laughs> you love River Quest, don't no, you, Charlotte? I do not. It's disgusting. So yeah, this is a really big rapids ride. You wouldn't think it. it looks like a dart ride from out the front, but yeah, it is a rapids. You actually go up an elevator lift, uh, and then yeah, come down various drops. There's a whirlpool at the top, and for obvious reasons, this is closed at this time of year. It always is for winter room, and that is because it's an absolute soaker. You get absolutely <laughs> Yeah, you do. So Charlotte's probably quite happy seeing some piles of snow out the front. Uh, real snow, but it's not real snow. Uh, they put it out every morning, which is cool. Well, yeah, we've got a couple more rides to do in this area of the park. That's the thing today, getting around doing some other bits. Um, we've got this attraction off to the right now. Should we go and do Fengju Palace just here? Make the most of it. This is a uh, Vekoma Madhouse just here. Um, it's nothing spectacular, unfortunately, this one. It's got some great theming out the front. The building's really nice. But yeah, pre-shows drag on a little bit yeah, with this one. It's got the really long pre-shows. Yeah, like 10 minutes of pre-shows. But yeah, we're going to have a ride on here. Well, we had our ride there on Fengju Palace after finally uh, getting through the pre-show there. Quite boring, that is. <laughs> oh, it takes a long time to get going, that one. I normally like a pre-show with storyline, but that one, it oh, it just on keeps crazy. going. Like, you've got, like, the four different corners that all light up. There's a screen at the front. It's like this big kind of fight going on, but, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I completely agree. And then you get onto the Madhouse, and it's a little bit better than the pre-show, but it's not one of my favourites out there, unfortunately. It's too dark in there, so it doesn't really make the effect very well. <laughs> yeah, you can't really tell, like, the illusion very well of actually going upside down. Down. Obviously, you swing back and forwards. The room spins on a Vekoma Madhouse. 
creating a really cool illusion, but on there you don't get to appreciate it as much. Uh, along with that, we've also just been on Gastorica, which is the ghost train, which is themed around China here in this area. It's certainly a very interesting ride, that, that one. That really needs some work. Yeah, it does, yeah. That's, oh my God, see how birds that Get straight down. Um, yeah, that needs some work. I think in general, the China area is great outside. The hotel's lovely. Um, but yeah, in terms of the attractions they here, need you need some work, definitely. But uh, it seems like they've got another project on going at the other side of the park. So I'll talk more about that later in the vlog. So maybe we're not going to see any changes to this part of Fantasyland in the near future. You know, you know it'd be interesting to see what happens. But uh, yeah, we're going to go and watch a show now over in the Winter Garden. We saw a couple of different shows yesterday. Uh, and we enjoyed those. Yeah, it was really good. Um, so we're going to go and watch the one in the Winter Garden now, which is another kind of variety show with lots of different acrobats. And uh, yeah, we're going to see what that's like. I don't think it's going to be Christmas themed again, this I don't one. Think so. um, but it looks really impressive. So yeah, we'll go and see that now. Meine Damen und Herren, aus gegebenem Anlass möchten wir Sie of the Winter Garden Theatre after watching A Golden Thread. Now with that show, it was 40 minutes in length and it was a variety performance with some nice aerial acrobats and other parts. However, it was just lacking something in there, wasn't I it? I felt like it was just a little bit slow. There wasn't any like fast-paced music and some of the acts seen them coming out over and over again. Yeah, it was the same people that were in there. I mean, it wasn't awful, but okay. it wasn't amazing either. I remember here at Fantasyland when the indoor theatre shows, all three of them, used to be amazing. And you kind of want to go and see them and think, oh, you know, like it's well worth coming away from Take the rides for. Ride. Whereas now, I was just sat there thinking, just get me back on Tower oh, and no, Fly. Uh, you know, and we are show people. We really we like the entertainment, show. but I just feel like the entertainment offering and winter room in general um, isn't quite what it used to be at Fantasyland. Don't get me wrong, I still really like this park uh, and the ride offering that they've got is phenomenal. However, um, there's certain aspects of this trip uh, that I've not been too impressed with. I think the uh, reduction of entertainment and maybe a change in creative lead with entertainment, I'm not, I'm not too, too sure, sure but yeah, it has definitely affected it. Uh, I'm looking forward to Tempo de Fuego tonight, but like I say, we should have seen that and it was cancelled. It's actually been cancelled twice whilst we've been here. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. But yeah, it was alright, that was. It was a little bit of Christmas music in there, but it wasn't really a Christmas themed show. No. Uh, but yeah, we went to see it. But yeah, I wish the entertainment was back on form like it used to be here. Because uh, in my opinion now, it's not worth coming out of the ride uh, to yeah. go and watch the entertainment. Oh, look at this. Got all the snow down here as we make our way down towards the rest of Woozy Town. Yeah, you've got the little fire going over there as well. Some big baubles. And obviously you've got the park mascots, the dragons that appear around the park. But yeah, I do like how you've got all the snow around. It really adds to it. Very nice down here. Oh, look at all this snow just over here. You got the snowman all there wrapped up for winter as well. And yeah, I like how they've made these little Christmas trees out of the wooden posts. They look good. So you wouldn't tell, but the other side of that is actually flying Ruckberg. That's the big sound barrier. Fantastic how they do it, really, because on the other side is this steampunk wonderland. And from here, it's like a fantasy land with all the uh, big piece of theming they've got on this side. What they've actually done is moved this flat ride. It used to be around the corner, actually. They've moved it into this location, which is quite interesting. Um, so yeah, I think that looks better there. However, it does make me think, are they going to be doing something big with this space around the corner? Because the Hollywood on tour boat ride and that's now closed as well and obviously they've moved that flat round the corner so it makes me think are they free in that area for development? I think so at some point maybe why would they move it? Yeah I, I think so too I mean all this area is quite nice around here but you go up towards Crazy Bats and where Hollywood on tour used to be and it's not amazing around there it could do with some TLC so yeah hopefully we're going to see something happen um, to that area of the park in the future maybe an expansion on the Woozy Town theme another major ride around here Got the little frogs. I like how they have all the little Santa hats <laughs> on the top there. They look really nice. But yeah, that's the thing. You know, the themed areas at Fantasyland are beautiful. They really are. And then there's a couple of bits what really need the work. Well, yeah, that's where that flat ride used to be. Right in the middle, just there. Obviously, in between all this sound barrier. And yeah, they've moved it over there now. So just make me think that we're going to be seeing something dumb. Yeah, more cue boards down here as well, which is nice to see. All these screens that they've put around is to make our way into Woozy Town just here. And yeah, this is a great themed area. Again, I think it needs a bit of TLC in places, but it's still very nice in here. To make our way inside, of course, it's home to two roller coasters, both of them Mara spinning coasters. 
And here they are, they interact with each other. Windjass, fear and force. And yeah, obviously you've got this flat ride in the middle just here as well with the balloons, which is nice. Yeah, you've got some light Christmas decorations in here. I'd like to see them do some more Christmas decor around the park, especially because the entertainment feels a bit cut back now. That was always a big highlight of Christmas, especially at the end of the day, the Magic Rose Spirit of Light. It was a lovely show. It's a shame we didn't get to see that. Yeah, I like with the fireworks. It was a really nice end of, end of day show. Yeah, it does now. You, you come from Europa Park, it feels very toned back. And, and, and this used to probably be a better event, actually, in my opinion, um, than Europa Park's winter. But now, um, it's definitely the other way around. But yeah, here's a look at Windjass in action. So yeah, there is some trick track on here, which makes this really unique. So each one has got its own different trick track. But we'll give them a ride, and we'll talk more about it. just a five minute wait there as well. Oh, I really like Windjass. There's some really unique elements in there. There is, there is two completely separate Mara spinning coasters. So basically similar to Dragon's Fury and Spinball Wizard that you find back in the UK. However, with these, it's actually got some trick track sections on there, hasn't it? Has it? Yeah, so I feel like Fear has probably got the best layouts and then Force has got the best trick track elements. Now, both of them feature uh, a little finale at the break room oh, where they kind of drop down. <laughs> However, on Force, you kind of go into a sideways element I trick really track. I really like that bit. And then it goes down to the side. Uh, it's hard to explain it really. It really is that right, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? And even when they used to allow on ride film in here, you couldn't see it because the trick track elements are in the dark. You can't see. Um, and then on Fear, uh, it's like a seesaw that moves back and forwards. But yeah, it's a very intriguing oh, ride, very this one. Uh, I feel like the area, like I said, needs a bit of TLC Definitely. in here. However, the coasters are really good fun. I love Very them. unique spinning coaster Definitely. this. But so uh, yeah, fantastic ride and great to make the most of it with a uh, five minute wait for both of them. cool about this building is that you can walk to the upper levels just here and there's actually some more rides for kids up here as well and you get some weird bits of theming such as him just here like look at that little skull at the top as well it's a very strange theme with wind jazz all the years have been coming i can't quite explain to you all what the theme of this park and part of the park the is duck washer is this way the duck washer here you go oh, <laughs> the duck washer but yeah like it's very nice in here but yeah it's just really interesting there we go, a little dodgems up here for the kids. There's a little frog hopper over there as well. And a spinning cups ride. But yeah, nobody really knows that these rides are here. Like, it's a part of Fantasia Land that's quite secretive up here because you've either got to walk up them steps inside here or come up the outside. Very strange. It is. Like, it's a weird theme. Like, how, how do you even like, explain this, this theme I in really here? Don't know. Uh, yeah, it's really, really strange. Very different. Yeah, it definitely needs a bit of TLC, but uh, yeah, and just even some more advertising that this is here, to be honest. Yeah, this part of the park looks really abandoned. That's what I say about Fantasia Land. It's a park of two halves. And yeah, down here, you've got the Hollywood on tour boat ride. It's been closed now for some years. I'm um, not going to be reopening the park, I've confirmed. So maybe this is going to be the location of the next development at the park. Out. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you've still got the dinner show, uh, Fantissimo, that they have in part of the building over here as well. And the indoor roller coaster, Crazy Bats, that does still operate. Let's go and do it. 
I don't know if the VR is back on here or not because yeah, it is a VR coaster. Um, but yeah, we'll see what uh, happens. I mean, it still says VR on the sign. I don't know. We'll go and find out. But yeah, park of two halves, the fantastic land is because you wouldn't think we're in the same park that produced amazing areas like Rupert and Klugheim when you come around here. Yeah, it's not a very nice part of the park, this. Come off crazy bats just there. I actually really enjoyed that. I've not done the VR on there before, but I thought it worked really well. I really enjoyed it. You've got to think it's a very long indoor coaster with three lift hills. Really good job with that. A lot of people found it quite boring before, and the VR has brought it a bit really more to it. Different. I loved it. Yeah, it's quite cool because it's kind of like you got all these crazy bats, hence the name. All flapping, all flapping about. And yeah, what's really nice is when you go up the lift hill, is you're on like this sheet of ice, aren't you, that keeps really, taking you round. Really then you end up with like a big avalanche at the end as well. Yeah. As far as VR goes, I think it's pretty good to be honest. Really good, yeah. yeah, really nice. But uh, here we go, we've got some presents just here yeah, for you. My friends are getting closer. Oh, yeah, obviously at Europa Park. I said loads of Charlotte's presents were there. Well, they've got smaller now. Yeah, they've got smaller. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, <laughs> those crazy bats, they've been stealing them. Right then, back down here now in the Berlin themed area. And yeah, we're gonna have a ride on Mouse of Chocolate just over here. Fantastic interactive dark ride, this is. We like this ride, don't we? <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Five minute wait? So oh, I'll tell you what, we've hardly had to queue at all. Like crazy. The longest queue has been walking around Fly's queue, I think, this trip. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice piece of theming around here. Again, unfortunately, we can't take you on the ride. It's a shame they're so strict when it comes to on-ride filming here, even on the dark rides. But it is what it is. Oh, I think some plates have been smashed. <laughs> and pesky little mice. Off Mouse and Chocolat just there. Fantastic interactive dark ride manufactured by ETF Ride Systems. I really like that attraction. Even better because I work. Oh, I'm not on top form today with that one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a really good ride because obviously with that, it's all themed around this big cake and sweet factory. And then the mice are taking over throughout. It's like little mice sat on cheese and stuff. It's quite cute. <laughs> but what's great about that ride as well, it's basically the same ride system as Toy Story Mania at the Disney parks. However, with this, there's a lot more theming and props Which to look at. And along with that as well, you've got some absolutely amazing smells throughout there. Smells oh. so good. It's a missed opportunity not putting a cake shop at the end, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, it's a really nice attraction. Obviously, everything that you're shooting is on the screen. You've got different scenes, like you've got like a lager area, a fridge, um, loads of different parts like of this factory. Staircase. Yeah, that's really nice. And you've got like the conveyor belts in the ceiling, it's actual cute. props with cakes going round and so stuff. Cute. Really nice ride, that is. I really do like that at Fantasia Land. And it's a little, little hidden gem because you look at it from the outside and you wouldn't think there was a massive dark really ride in there. Be. Like, it's a small little entrance. Fantastic attraction in the Berlin themed area. Right then, just round here in Chinatown then now where Charlotte's got some lovely lunch just here. What are you going for, Charlotte? Oh, like a vegetable chow mein. It's really nice, actually. Yeah, not too badly priced either, was it? I'd give it a try. It's like five quid. It's not too bad, really. Yeah, that's pretty good. There mm. you go. Look at that. Just from over here. Yeah, it's very nice. That's the thing. You've got quite a few quick service places, but they don't have much indoor seating for no, Christmas, which they could do with some more indoor areas, especially when it's so cold. But yeah, something a little bit different for you there, Charlotte. Very nice. Lovely. Really nice. Gorgeous area. Can't wait to see it again at night with all the lighting. Back here into the magical world of Klugheim, then now this afternoon here at Fantasia Land. And yeah, I do love how this coaster interacts with all the themed area. Looks amazing. It also interacts with another roller coaster called Rake. 
However, unfortunately, Rake is closed at the moment. So yeah, it did actually valley last week during testing. I don't know if that's happened this morning or not. We'll just try and have a look. I'm too sure. We'll see it. Or it's just having some technical problems. It's not been open all day. Um, but yeah, we can't do any gardening today then, can we? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this area of the park though, absolutely stunning. Look at this. Amazing. We yeah, the station for Rake's down there. We yeah, ate Valley the other morning because it was so cold just down the bottom there. We wasn't here, but I saw it online. That's the thing though, when you're running coasters in the cold weather. But yeah, this area, I could walk around it all day. It's beautiful, it really is. So many details all around here. And of course, Taran intertwining all around the themed area of Klugheim. And I think we should go on another ride on Taran, make the most of it. Of course, coming up later on, we'll check out the projection mapping on Mystery Castle. Yeah, looking forward to seeing that and you can just see Mystery Castle over there. And yeah, I was talking about RiverQuest earlier on. If you've never been on it before, the lifts are just inside here for RiverQuest. Then you drop down and then head around the rest of the rapids. But yeah, there's so many details in this area. Sometimes, you know, you can kind of overlook that and walk straight to the ride. It's worth just walking around and seeing the finer details just like here. You know, it really is amazing. But the scene is so quiet like this, it's crazy. Still scheduled for tonight for Templo de Fuego just over here. Not to be confused with Templo del Fuego at Port Aventura. Oh, uh, I know you're not, you don't have much love with these fire shows, do you, Charlotte? But uh, yeah, we'll have another ride on Taran. Why not make the most of it? It's only on five minutes. Absolutely incredible Taran over in Klukheim. Five minute wait, great to get on there again. And you've got to think with that coaster, it doesn't matter where you sit, you're in for an incredible ride. Whether you're on the front, the back, the middle, it's always an epic experience. If you do want a more intense ride, of course, right at the back is even better. And if you want the epic views, the front is brilliant. However, it's amazing no matter where you sit on Taran. And it's the same with another awesome coaster here. Fly! Looking forward to getting back on here again. We've actually only done it in the dark so far this trip, so we'll head back onto Fly here in Rupberg and make the most of it in the daytime. It's always such a special feeling stepping back into this area again. And yeah, just seeing all the details. It feels like there's just something new to see every time you come back here into Rookburg. And yeah, look at this just here with the airship and all the steampunk theming. Honestly, it looks like concept art in real life. Like, it's incredible. The sounds, the smoke effects. Honestly, I love this area so much.
fry footage there from Fly. Anyway, back out here into Berlin now. And yeah, we're going into Hotel Tartov. This is a great attraction. We can take you inside here. It's a fun house, which is really quirky. <laughs> here you go, Charlotte's got a little friend just here. It's a raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Robin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is this? Oh, he's licking his cheeks, yeah. <laughs> Oi. Here we go, it's the wheel. <laughs> I'm going to spin round. Yeah. Love the music in here as well. You okay there, Charlotte? Yeah. <laughs> really quirky in there. So yeah, it's a hotel that's gone very, very wrong in here. Oh, you're cleaning the windows there, mate. Woo! Ah! <laughs> ah I'm stuck. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice bed up there. Oh, it smells good in there. Like nice soap, nice and fresh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice pose, Charlotte. Nice pose. Whoa! <laughs> Hello. Oh no, look at this. The load's not working. Oh, only the end of the trouble. Here we go, Charlotte. Let's see you coming up. <laughs> oh, the ladder's just there. Hey! Ready there? Yeah, <laughs> try not to stretch your legs too much when you're coming up. There she is. Hey! <laughs> Just play that was a big record just there. Whoa! Man, 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 man. Love the feelings are out there. So yeah, it's really cool. Getting dark again as well for our final few hours here in Fantasia Land after a great few days. Here we go, it's the wardrobe. Oh. <laughs> Love that how the carpet goes down. Hello! <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> I love the music in there. It's like a bit cartoony, you know. Like a big chase scene, you know. Hey, rolling along just here, that's it. <laughs> I do love a good fun house, and yeah, this is one of the best. And your experience ends here at Hotel Tartuff with the big slide just here. You've got to take your shoes off though. Here she comes. Hey! <laughs> Fantastic. Great fun attraction that is about. Really good. Yeah, you've got to take your shoes off. You enjoy that, Charlotte? It, it's always a good attraction, though, that. There you go. Love it. Hotel Tartuff. Here we go, then. Back for a second night here to see the lights come on. The question is, are they going to fuse again like they did last night? Probably. What do you think, Charlotte? <laughs> Let's find out and see what happens. They should all be coming on any moment here. Here we go. <laughs> there you go, all the snow coming down. That's it, they all actually came on tonight. Much better. We thought we could watch it a bit closer just here as well. All these buildings do look amazing for the winter events. Really nice. Look at this, so magical. Maybe they've got some more extension leads. <laughs> Love all the lights, thousands of them here at Fantasia Land to light up for Christmas. And yeah, this looks amazing here under the conservatory. You've got all the lights at the top, the big balls hanging up as well. I like how all the vehicles also got lights on, which looks really nice. So magical, it really is. Do a great job when it comes to the decorations. And they all came on tonight, which is good. Which is good. Apart from these few balls just there. Yeah. <laughs> a few balls out. We came down here into Woozy Town earlier in the vlog, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you it here as well. At night, with all the nice lights on, with the big baubles, and yeah, all the coloured lights that they've got down here as well. 
And I bet if Santa Claus is coming to town, playing around here. And here's another look at the awesome Wintram ice skating ring here. Are you going on, Charlotte? I'm not going to give it a go this time, I don't think. Are you going to go on the F-Telling one, I think? I am. It's more it's because there's no sign. I don't want to risk it if I can't get a penguin. Yeah, I don't blame you, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it is a lovely setting, though. Absolutely gorgeous here, with the tree just there as well. Comment down below, let us know your thoughts on the tree. And also, the lovely Wintram sign just there, which looks fantastic. I do like these spinning dresses just here, they are gorgeous. Now this park's made quite a few changes since last time we were here. Another one of those is down here on the main entrance street. There actually used to be a little quick service restaurant here and yeah they've took it out and they've moved the steps. They used to go up that way um, down towards Mexico and Africa. Well yeah now you've got the steps just here so it's opened it up a lot more. Gotta say it looks a lot better than it did previously. You've got two sets of steps now instead of just one. Uh, however we have lost that quick service restaurant but it does look like they're going to put another one in because there's some doors there. I just hope it's not a posh, fancy restaurant. We need some more indoor quick service, especially uh, at winter. Yeah, because that was a really good indoor one. Just grab some food and then go and get inside in the warm. Because uh, obviously there's a lot of fancy restaurants, which is great. But you still need some nice undercover seating for quick service. So hopefully we'll see that in there. Yeah, it's nothing at the moment. But I'm sure it will be at some point in the future. Wow, look at Telekin and I just here. Incredible. Yeah, it looks like they got the fire sorted again. If you saw the day one vlog, you'll know that it was off for a little bit. Look at this. I just hope we get the fire show tonight because we're really looking forward to it. Fingers crossed. Here we go then, back in deep in Africa now. And of course, as Jembe is back, we're not got any fire effects on, so it's very dark around here. So we've got Charlotte who's holding the torch, but here we go, the drums are back. We've got to give them a bit of a bang, haven't we? Here we go. That's all you're going to get. If it was a bit brighter, I'd give you some more, but uh, yeah, we've got no fire on. <laughs> Well, we've made our way now down here into Klugheim to come and see the new projection mapping show on Mystery Castles. Yeah, this is brand new for the event for this year, so looking forward to seeing it. Uh, now, it's just starting to rain, so yeah, it's not going to be the easiest one to film, but uh, I'll try and get as much footage as I can do looking up there at Mystery Castle with the projections. Got to say, they look pretty clear, especially with how tall the tower actually is.
some highlights there from the projection mapping show and yeah that runs every 20 minutes on mystery castle during winter Rome. and yeah it's a nice addition to the event i thought the projection quality was pretty good especially with how high up the castle is and obviously the projectors are a lot lower down so yeah that was good uh, only about a five minute show and yeah it did kind of lack an ending however uh, it was really nice yeah something else that adds to the event just come around here to have a look at Taron, and yeah looks like they're evacuating from the break room just here so hopefully we're going to get a final couple of rides on here tonight if not though at least we've had plenty of rides over the past couple of days here at fantasia land but yeah it looks amazing around here at night Klugheim will always have a special place in my heart it really is gorgeous come and say goodbye to Hotel Charles Lindbergh for one final time. It really is a highlight of the Fantasialand experience. So yeah, we thought we'd come up here and just show you some more footage of the nighttime show in this area. We did capture a bit of it a couple of days ago in the Charles Lindbergh vlog. And if you haven't already seen that video, definitely check it out. We take you for a full tour around this very exclusive hotel built right here in the heart of Rookburg with amazing views looking out over Fly and the rest of the park as well. But yeah, there was a nighttime show. However, I didn't quite capture it on camera because we were standing in the wrong location. But they've actually got pyrotechnics underneath the coaster and they stop running it whilst this show happens only three times a night it only lasts a couple of minutes but i thought i'd come back and uh, get some footage of this for you Fantastic with the pyro there under the coaster. Well, with the pyrotechnics there, I think that's a really nice addition to Rugby. What do you think? I think it's a really good addition. It's something good that everybody can watch while they're in the area. Yeah, I mean, I know that they don't have to operate the ride whilst it's going round, because um, obviously for safety reasons, you don't want the coaster going round whilst they're doing it's that. It's not for too long. Yeah, it's only a few minutes, and it's a really nice little production there, along with the projections on Mystery Castle. A couple of nice new additions to the event. Which is good to see. Yeah, yeah, definitely. The projections look like they're uh, ruined again just down here. That's the thing, they play the audio throughout Klugheim. Anyway, as you can see, we're coming towards the end of our day two vlog here at Fantasialand. Oh, I love the themes of the towers. <laughs> Great music. We're about to make our way just around the corner now into Mexico to go and check out Tempo de Fuego. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, hopefully. This will be our third time of trying to watch it this trip well. uh, because it's been cancelled a couple of times whilst we've been here due to technical problems. Uh, uh, so hopefully we're going to get to see it tonight. Really so. It's our last chance. If we don't get to see it tonight, you don't see it in this trip. Oh, no. oh yeah, it's a fantastic projection mapping show. Uh, it's a bit of build up with projections for about 10 minutes or so. And then it goes into the main part of the show with loads of fire, uh, which is pretty incredible. So fingers crossed, we'll head around there now and we'll put in some highlights of the show over the next few minutes. <laughs>
was absolutely incredible seeing Tempo de Fuego again. I'm so glad you got to see it. So good. There was so much fire. I was like burning. <laughs> it's ridiculous how much it fire was there brilliant. is. I really enjoyed it. Oh, I'm so glad that you got to see I'm that. I'm glad I saw it too. 15 minute show, and obviously the build up with the projections, you think, oh, this is nice, but we want more. Then the Fuego comes in. Fantastic. Absolutely epic, it really is. But uh, there we go, of course, got some last rides in as well uh, over the past hour or so. Back on Fly and Taron. And oh, I tell you what, Taron always blows me away. Fly is incredible, but uh, yeah, for me, Taron, still the baby for me at this park. And I tell you what, it's been great to get back here to Fantasia Land. Just thought we'd wrap it up here in Chinatown with all these wonderful decorations. The snow on the ground, it looks stunning, it really does. Look at this, so magical around here during winter. Room. And that brings us to the end of our four series of vlogs here from Fantasia Land. Of course, two from in the park and also from the hotels here as well. It is indeed. We've had a great time though. It's been really nice staying on site uh, and experiencing Hotel Charles Lindbergh again. That was my highlight. Oh, I really enjoyed Charles Lindbergh. It's such a unique experience. It really is fantastic. And of course, staying at Hotel Lingbao, it's not somewhere that I rush back to. Um, but yeah, it's still a really nice themed hotel. Yeah, the rooms and stuff are nice, but it's not been the best for us. Really. Yeah, the experience this time with a couple of things being closed and stuff but uh, in terms of the park we've had a great time it's been fantastic to get back on Taron and Fly Chapas had a ride on there even though it was freezing I when we did that <laughs> and of course today get on some of the other rides that aren't quite as famous here but are still great such as Mouse of Chocolate Windjass which is another fantastic I ride love uh, Hotel Tartuff that's fantastic the slide was great yeah that was good fun and yeah just capturing the awesome atmosphere here uh, like I said in the day one vlog it, I do feel like Windroom feels a little bit cut back to what it used to be like with no ice slide, no real Christmas tree, no fireworks, um, the show's not been fantastic. It's definitely not the event that it used to be in my opinion, but coming to see this park at night has to be done at this time of year, and that's what really makes it for me at this the event. Lights stuff are fantastic, like Berlin's really good, but I feel like they really need to work on certain aspects. Yeah, I think there's some really nice decorations around, but I think the entertainment was definitely better before. Yeah. Temple de Fuego, of course, is amazing, that's uh, fantastic. So uh, and some of the other light shows are nice, but I do miss the Magic Rose spirit of light or a big um, finale fireworks show in Berlin. I thought that was brilliant before, uh, so I do miss that. However, um, it's been lovely seeing the park at night again. Operations haven't been amazing this time. It's been sort of mixed match. Yeah, on Taron, especially with three trains just all stacking up, know. you know. Um, yeah, I know the weather's been quite cold. It's not been too busy, so it hasn't affected us too much. But uh, yeah, it's been one of them, hasn't it? The operations. The break, quite yeah, wild. I've just noticed some slower operations this time in general throughout the park. I do feel like two years ago when the Rutberg and Fly Fantasyland maybe peaked at that point. Uh, I hope they get back on the feet. Like I say, I it's, so. COVID's been a tough time for the parks. I feel like Fantasyland aren't quite back to where they were before they need yet. To get back up there. Yeah, hopefully they can do because I do love this park. It's home to some amazing themed areas, some great rides. Winter has been really nice to come and see as well. Even if the event isn't quite what it used to be, it's still a lot better than anything we get back home exactly, in a theme park. Yeah. Um, but uh, thanks so much for joining Thank us. You. Of course, we've had two parts of the trip now uh, at Europa Park and Fantasyland. Tomorrow, we're going to be making our way from here to Efteling. Pardus for coming Oh, for we can't wait. Symbolica, uh, lots of other great rides and so much more. It's all going to be coming up here on Theme Park Worldwide. That leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there, there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. We'll see you on the way to Efteling. <laughs>